Deputy Gloria Baccio will be ticketed for careless driving and failure to wear a seatbelt. News 6 has been following this story since the crash happened in October. News 6's Clay Lapar joins us now live with these new developments. And Clay, what did the family of the man killed in this crash have to say? Lisa, Robert Johnston's family tells News 6 they are very upset that Deputy Gloria Baccio is only being cited with traffic violations. The deputy behind the wheel of this car will not face any criminal charges and is only being cited for careless driving and failure to wear a seatbelt. This comes after a 171-page Florida Highway Patrol report details how Deputy Gloria Baccio failed to stop at a red light and rear-ended 34-year-old Robert Johnston and his pickup truck, killing Johnston. While the report put the blame on Baccio for this October crash along Highway 192 in Osceola County, it also details how Johnston had a greatly enlarged heart, and that contributed to his death. Immediately after the crash, Baccio blamed her brakes for the crash. Hey, it's Gloria. Hey, hey. Um, I need uh, someone from service so that has to be an out, out here. Okay. Uh, I need to talk to them. So, <laughs> you break, there's no... But an FHP inspection refuted her claim and showed Baccio applied the brakes at the very last second, with her speed going from 53 miles per hour to 49 miles per hour in the five seconds leading up to the crash. Detectives detailed how the Osceola County deputy refused to provide a statement, and detectives weren't able to determine if she was distracted behind the wheel because Baccio refused to turn over her personal cell phone records. The Osceola County Sheriff's Office did turn over the data for Deputy Baccio Baccio's work phone and her work laptop. Neither of those appeared to show Baccio was distracted. The Osceola County Sheriff's Office, where Deputy Baccio is still employed but is on paid administrative leave, told News 6 they aren't finished with their internal investigation into the matter. Osceola County recently settled with the Johnston family for $200,000. Florida Highway Patrol says their investigation is over and no other charges will be filed. Because Deputy Baccio was ticketed with careless driving, she will have to make a mandatory court appearance and her driver's license suspended for six months. Outside Florida Highway Patrol headquarters in Orange County, Clay Lepard getting results, News 6.